This video will show how uninterrupted shifting is achieved in a multi-speed transmission. Shown here is the architecture for a double reduction two-speed transmissions with uninterrupted shifting. While the first reduction has only one speed, the second reduction has two speeds. Generally, a synchronous clutch is used, resulting in an interruption of power from the source to the wheel. Here a dog clutch is used instead since the speeds are already synchronized, thereby eliminating the interruption. The construction here is similar to the typical architecture of a double reduction two-speed transmissions used in an electric automobile, except the synchronizer is replaced with a patent pending Geneva wheel mechanism with a custom slot wheel. The driving gears in the second reduction are attached rigidly to an intermediate shaft along with a driving Geneva pin wheel placed on a one-way bearing. One-way bearing allows Geneva pin faster than the intermediate shaft. Dog clutches are always engaged while reversing or during regenerative braking. A stepper motor placed on the intermediate shaft positions the Geneva pin wheel to precisely engage with the driven Geneva slot wheel. The pins on the Geneva pin wheel can extend or retract via solenoids independently. The smaller driven gear is placed on a bearing and the larger driven gear is placed on a one-way bearing on the output shaft. Placing this on a one-way bearing aid automatic engagement along with dog clutch is optional. These gears are independently engaged to the output shaft, each via a dog clutch. Dog clutches are ideal here since the speeds are already synchronized before they are engaged. The driven Geneva slot wheel is rigidly attached to the output shaft. The slots in the driven Geneva slot wheel are shaped such that the pin wheel spins the slot wheel transitioning between the two constant speeds of the second reduction, with a ramp up region OR ramp down region. The ramp up region has a constant low speed zone, a ramp up zone followed by the constant high speed zone. Similarly the ramping down region has a constant high speed zone, a ramp down zone followed by the constant low speed zone. Here is how uninterrupted ramping down is achieved. While the high speed gear is active with the dog clutch having engaged the smaller driven gear to the output shaft, the ramp down section of the Geneva slot wheel is activated by extending the appropriate Geneva pins to first engage with the constant high speed zone. When the speeds of the Geneva wheel system are in sync with the constant high speed, the second reduction high speed gear is disengaged via the dog clutch. Then the appropriate ramp down Geneva pins are extended allowing the Geneva slot wheel to pass through the ramp down zone and the Geneva slot reaches the low speed zone. When the speeds are in sync with the constant low speed, the low speed dog clutch is engaged and the Geneva pins are retracted, achieving uninterrupted down shifting. Here is how uninterrupted ramping up is achieved. While the low speed gear is active with the dog clutch having engaged the larger driven gear to the output shaft, the ramp up section of the Geneva slot wheel is activated by extending the appropriate Geneva pins to first engage with the constant low speed zone. When the speeds of the Geneva wheel system are in sync with the constant low speed, the second reduction low speed gear is disengaged via the dog clutch. Then the appropriate ramp up Geneva pins are extended allowing the Geneva slot wheel to pass through the ramp up zone and the Geneva slot reaches the high speed zone. When the speeds are in sync with the constant high speed, the high speed dog clutch is engaged and the Geneva pins are retracted, achieving uninterrupted up shifting. 